Hi everyone, it's Gaia from Fitnosophy and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm in Italy where I just came to visit my family. Right now I'm in the place where my fitness journey started um, something like 12 years ago. Uh, let me show you guys. Um, yeah. So it used to look much different from what it looks like now and uh, in this very place me and my brother used to um, work out with very cheap equipment that we put together. And I wanted to talk about my brother indeed because um, a couple of years ago he experienced two retinal detachments uh, on each um, of his eyes and which caused him to give up his sports um, forever. He, he used to play football with his friends at least I think two or three times a week and uh, he used to do some weight training at the gym three times a week um, due to the accident that he had, um, he had to stop uh, both activities because they could cause uh, some sort of danger. However, my brother reacted very positively and uh, he's someone I've always uh, looked up to my entire life. He's younger than me, uh, but, you know, I've uh, always looked up to him. Uh, we've always been very, very close and um, we're kind of best friends. So uh, we went to the beach a couple of days ago and we recorded that chat. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this uh, chat that I had with my brother. Um, so, I've got a bunch of questions for you. Um, so, question number one. Um, what was your life like before um, the, I mean, the accident, the thing that happened to you? And uh, what kind of impact did it have on your life? Like, uh, how did it change afterwards? Uh, did you experience, I mean, you obviously experienced a significant change but uh, what sort of impact did it have on your um, fitness routine, on your mindset, on your life um, overall? Uh, um, at the beginning it was very difficult to, to accept this uh, new condition of my life because uh, I couldn't uh, play my favorite sports and this uh, was uh, very difficult to accept for me. Uh, then, uh, step by step, uh, I managed uh, to find uh, uh, new motivations uh, in other aspects of my life, uh, other activities. Yeah, my next question is, uh, what kind of motivation did you find indeed? Um, you know, that helped you um, overcome your sense of uh, uh, helplessness, I guess, and uh, not being able to pursue your goals and you know, to perform your regular routine. Um, where did you find your, where did and do you still find your motivation from? Um, I found my uh, new motivation in other sports, uh, for example, running, or uh, I rediscovered uh, um, cycling. Um, but mainly, um, 
I realized that uh, if uh, I can't uh, um, play football or other kind of sport, uh, I um, <laughs> I can uh, watch uh, them and uh, uh, I I can write on them. In fact. Uh, i started to, to write that for a football blog, Good. Culture Style, and uh, this uh, gave me the strength to, to react to, to dark moments uh, past uh, during my life. Yeah. Okay, uh, a few more questions. So the first one is, um, do you still experience some sort of anxiety or like uh, darkness in um, some particular moments in your life and if so uh, how do you cope with those and how do you and where um, do you find the strength to overcome those kind of uh, moments? I think uh, everyone uh, goes through a dark moment mm, but the secret is uh, uh, trying to react by keeping uh, yourself busy mm -hmm or uh, doing uh, what uh, uh, make uh, yourself happy. Uh, yeah. My next question would be, um, in all um, of those moments you get through when anxiety seems to take over, have you got any mantra, any phrase or formula that you like to um, just to, to say to yourself that you keep repeating uh, to, to help you overcome those moments and uh, if so, what kind of phrase, what kind of actions do you take to, um, to cope with the um, anxiety levels that just, um, uh, just get into your, your normal life? Uh, yes, uh, I have a mantra. Uh, I am a very spiritual person and in fact I thank God uh, uh, for all beautiful things uh, I have and these uh, uh, make me uh, happy and at the dark moment uh, so you just express your gratitude basically yes right, right. Yeah. right. and what, what do you express your gratitude for like nature, sun, yeah, family, yeah, for, friends. Oh yeah, for yeah. very um, for many aspects of my life. For example, family. Um, for example, uh, a beautiful sunset or a right. beautiful landscape. Uh, um, I I try to find um, uh, beautiful. Uh, um, aspect of the of the moment of the um... right you you just try to enjoy the moment and uh, yeah. be grateful for it yes yeah yeah great. okay let's conclude this um, video with just the last last question I've got for you which is what kind of advice would you give to uh, someone um, you know going through a similar experience uh, my advice is uh, thinking about uh, uh, what uh, makes you happy mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, being grateful uh, for what uh, you have instead of uh, uh, focusing on uh, you don't have. Or what you don't have, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, sure, that's a, that's a very valuable uh, piece of advice. If you did like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel or visiting my website fitnosophy.com and my Instagram or Facebook page as well. Uh, I hope to see you guys all very soon. Uh, until then, happy Christmas and happy new year. Bye!